Welcome to Laughter Talks. I am excited as always to be here with a wonderful guest today. And I want to say, um, now this is Debbie Leno, and she is the creator of the Ageless Woman Movement, which involves personal coaching, chair yoga instruction, inner peace and healing uh, events. And this, this is amazing. This is all, uh, Debbie, first of all, thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Thank you for inviting me. Oh, yes. Now, Debbie, you heard that we should be starting the new year off talking about all these wonderful things you do. And I like your focus because what you are doing with your program, and I've been looking on your website, I like your new um, logo. We're going to put that up. Thank you. Uh, as, uh, and the pictures that run by in the middle, because it's very, it's very, it's pretty, it's appropriate. I love it. It's very fresh. Thank now, you. Uh, you're welcome. Now, the thing about is what, what you, let me just say this, to sum this up from my understanding, what you do is really help people, women in particular, but I know if men needed help, that would be too, but we just are always geared towards women. Um, to, to kind of slough off their old patterns and old ways of thinking. Now, um, am I correct in that? And explain to us your thoughts on the process that you like to have happen for people that you help. Okay, well, my training first began in health coaching. So that was my true passion, as you can tell from some of my posts that I do, that I'm very passionate about, about health and managing your health. So it started there, but I, I really got to a point uh, when, it, when it got to helping people resolve the reasons why they weren't able to finish a program or the reasons why they weren't able to really do what they wanted to do really came down to subconscious beliefs that were hidden that were un you know not really known to them not on a conscious level and um and so i knew that i needed more training to help them through that part of being able to coach them well and being able to see them be successful because that was really holding uh, some clients back you know, is there the way they were thinking about themselves, the way that um, um, how they would give up before they would see success because of some sort of a subconscious belief that was uh, maybe introduced in their childhood years. So I found a program that retrains the brain, that um, resolves and neutralizes those traumas from our childhood and on on through our, our entire lives. Because Seriously, we, we get um, told things about ourselves throughout our lifetime, but the things that are told to us are really significant in the early ages because we're, we're young and we believe everything we hear and we don't know how to defend ourselves and we believe it to be true. So if, you, if you're brought up being told, um, you know, don't speak unless you're spoken to, or um, who are you to say anything? I mean, the list could go on and on about oh, the careless sure. things that adults or teachers or, you know, classmates might say to you, you're stupid, you're this, you're that. And depending on the sensitivity of the child, most children will believe those things to be true and it really can hold them back significantly way into their adult life. And, and human nature is that you hold on to the negative because that makes the most impact. Yeah. Right? So, so when you find yourself in your adult years cringing at having to speak in public or cringing when somebody you know, says something nice to you and you don't think you deserve it, you know, that's usually a clue that there's some unresolved beliefs, uh, negative belief systems that you're holding on to. Um, so this particular program that I enrolled in was uh, the MAP method. So the MAP Institute. So I, I, I studied with them and learned so much about the brain, about the mind, uh, about emotions, about trauma and all of that. And so I learned a, a method of speaking directly to the subconscious mind 
and uh, rewiring it in such a way that not that you're changing the past, but you are creating a newer way to think about it so that those old terrifying emotions or those old painful emotions are no longer there after the session. Um, it's just, it's, it's like opening up a history book, you know, and looking back in the pages of your life and going, oh, that was just awful what happened there, you know, and then all of a sudden you feel all those emotions all over again. But after a map session and after you've gone through the process of neutralizing and healing those negative, tra those traumas and those negative emotions, those volatile maybe emotions, um, you can look back on those pages and go, oh yeah, that happened when I was a kid, or that 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 was a part of my history. There, the emotion and the trauma is no longer connected with it. It just becomes a like a th a piece of history, no well, longer active. Yeah, I think when you're creating new, like you said, new pathways in the brain, what happens is you're you're actually developing the tools and skills so that you know where to go to because we all have our days where something's going to trigger something off so we have to have that system in place that all of the parts of the brain and the parts of your personality that have been um able to be treated right because they're willing um when an event like that triggers or happens again you no longer have the same reaction reaction you, don't, yes. you don't have to go through a process yes it's just our, the language that that we're taught in in map that uh, speaks directly to to the issue, right to the trauma, right to the parts, and it's very soft and it's very uh, lovable and it's very kind, and it's very wise, you know. And also during the session, a certain amount of wisdom will will download into your spirit that you all of a sudden are able to see it in a much different light than you maybe you did when you were eight yeah. or ten or fifteen sure. or fifty. <laughs> Yeah, and then it, and it's and it's the aha moment yeah. that comes to you in those quiet places when we're having a map type coaching session. Yeah. It's that quiet time where you are you are um, taking in and integrating the information, integrating yeah. the, the commands that are given, and all of a sudden you get this brand new internal awareness. I don't give it to you; it comes down to the client. It comes down of all course. by itself. It's all within. So, it's all the work we have to do with It's all within. And so how much gets done and how yeah. many sessions you need, it really just depends on how much is there, how many layers are there, how many parts, you know, of your personality are willing to come down and, and be treated. Mm -hmm. So um, like a, I've seen a phobia or a fear be eliminated in a session that and saying wow this and it turns out okay but i wanted to ask you something very important because we were talking about discussing health and everything because it's so vital and of course getting control over yourself internally helps with your health but i wanted to talk i asked your permission if we could talk about this because i had seen on your website and i'm going to show everybody because debbie gave me her permission to show this picture of your foot, because this is something that will spin into our life unexpectedly. So would you tell everybody, what are we looking at and what did you do to correct it and help yourself get back to a state of health? Oh my goodness, that was quite a journey. That was actually like a 10 year journey. Um, I had been, I had doctors putting me on um, uh, water pills. I was just swelling, you know, my hands and my feet particularly uh -huh. would just get completely out of control swelling yeah. and I could never figure out the reason why um it would just come and go and so the doctor oh how old was I, I think I was in my late 40s or yeah. mid 40s when he said you know what I think we we really need to to give you a water pill and just get that water off of you okay so I did that and I was on that I was on a water pill for 10 years maybe because I was now in my 50s and I was getting a lot more conscientious about, about everything, but I had always been conscientious about health and I've always been involved with health foods and, and pure yeah, you foods. You told me you always I've ate always food been like and that. everything. So that must've been a real shock. So being on a, on a water pill, I was like, that's a water pill, you know, it can't be that. So then I started to do some research and I go, oh my God, I've been on this for 10 years. This is not yeah. good. I'm just, I'm just gonna hack this, figure out why my body is doing this. So I stopped taking the water pill. 
And so then I was eating a lot of asparagus. I was drinking dandelion tea. I was drinking all these things that are natural diuretics to just try to lift that water away from me. And then we went on vacation. That picture actually is two days after getting back from a vacation. So we went to Key West, right? Oh, nice. I always wanted to go to Key West. <laughs> I mean, I've been to Florida a million times, but I've never been to Key West. So um, <laughs> it was a dreadful, dreadful time. I, by, I think, I don't know, two or three hours into the, into the stay in Key West and I could barely walk. Oh my goodness. My feet got so ginormous and so swollen wow. and it was my hands a little bit, my fingers a little bit, but my, from my knee down, it was wow. like, oh my gosh, I can't walk anymore. And so it was, when I looking back on it, it was like the perfect storm for me. It was hot, which I don't do well in the heat. And I swell in the heat anyway, and it was very humid and it was by the ocean. So you have salt in the air. Obviously my body retains a certain amount of salt. So it was the heat and the salt air. And then I was eating shrimp all morning long. So, and I love shrimp. I love shelf. I love seafood. Never thought twice about it. Wow. It absolutely ruined that stay. I could hardly walk. Two days later is when I took that picture. So you can imagine what they were yeah. before that picture. Oh my goodness. So I took a picture of my feet because I'm thinking to myself, you know what? I have to show my doctors this because they don't believe me when they tell me, when I tell them how swollen I get, I don't think they believe me. So I took the picture and brought it with me. And I'm telling you, they ran all the medical tests, pulmonary, you know, my heart, my lungs, all my systems, they just, they checked everything big out. Okay. Everything was, everything was normal. Everything was fine. And I go, but why am I swelling like Yeah, that? there has to be a reason. There has to be a reason. They were like, I guess you just swell. So I went to a holistic doctor, naturopath. And I showed him the picture and he says, Ooh, he says that my first reaction would be that it's lymphedema. He said, but you know, let's just check foods. I'm like foods, <laughs> you know, I like, I'm thinking to myself, how could a food do this? I mean, I know several people in my family have got fish allergies and, and they'll have um, other problems like um, the throat will close up or their eyes will bulge out or something like that. But I didn't know anybody who had your feet get ginormous from eating a food. Well, you're special. <laughs> I guess. I have found one of the person that this happened to. Yeah. So she's local. And, and, and every time we get together, that's what we talk about. It's so funny. But uh, he did all the food testing. And as it turns out, I am highly allergic to shrimp. Well, you know, I am so glad that we had this conversation because this is what I wanted to share with people. Uh, because I've had many problems happen in my life and many times when the doctors ended up saying what yours did, well, we don't know what's causing it and they'll just leave it. And in my opinion, that's not a good doctor. You don't leave someone that way. But what you said holistic, which is what I do for my life and I happen to take to deal with my, I don't take any medications, but I found herbs that I take that keep my balance and my water and everything but thank you for sharing that it's nothing to, you know we do need doctors for certain things but when you leave a doctor and they've said well i don't know what's doing that just go on your way or they give you pills that's not the right solution they don't have the, they don't have that type of training and that's that's really what it is and you know they're trained in pharmaceuticals they're trained in in surgery they're surgeon obviously but um How you know, you there's so many things how did you find a good uh, person to help you? What was your process in that? Well, that was 10 years ago. I went through the yellow pages <laughs> and I looked yeah, up so, naturopath. Yeah. Well, <laughs> and, you found uh, the right one. God was directing you because. Yeah. So when you got off the shrimp, your feet went back to no more swelling, right? Well, it wasn't only shrimp. I, there's a whole lot of things that turned out that I was very sensitive to. And so yeah. what I did is for a period of three weeks, I juiced. I juiced like five times a day. Oh, good. And so I juiced five times a day and then I, I kept it real clean. Uh, minimal amount of grain, lots of lots of greens, um, some turkey, poultry, whatever, a little bit yeah. here and there. And just really just 
let my body rest and yeah. relax. And, and then all the swelling went, that was the first time I'd seen my ankles in like 15 years. Wow. Well, I'm so glad you shared that. Thank you. Because, uh, I, I'm from a belief system that we do have to um, empower ourselves enough to take control over our health. Um, I know when my body's functioning and when something is wrong, and I never have agreed with a doctor who said, well, I'll put you on these pills. I've never done that. I said, no, I must find out why. And guess how it's always corrected? Just as you said, through diet. It's what yes. we're eating. It's what we're ingesting. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was horrifying when I was not like you and that I ate healthy. I was a terrible eater. I, I was a sugar was like crack cocaine to me. So I've had to make a lot of corrections and changes to my lifestyle, which I'm happy and proud to say I have. That's really difficult. So yeah, for you, that is a really hard yeah. thing to do. I eat clean now. I mean, and uh, I'll look at something in the store if I get a sweet craving and I turn around and get fruit. It's like, who am I? <laughs> but it does, it does work. Cause so, you want to live a nice long life. That's what you are. Yes, I want to be healthy. I want to be free. I want to be happy. So I just want to know now you're, you're coaching and everything. What, what is the best way for people to reach out to you? Probably to go to my website or to email me. I'm very, very um, accessible. Okay, now so, your website is, tell us your website, and I'm going to put it up front. It's the Ageless Woman Movement. At, at uh, mom? G yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I, I could send it to you. Um, oh, no, I do have it, but I just want, I like, I like for people to hear it from you so they know that they can contact you. And what is your contact email? Would you say that too? And that will also The be email up? is probably the fastest, easiest way to get in touch with me. Okay. And so that is um, agelesswomanmovement at gmail.com. Okay. Agelesswomanmovement at gmail. Okay. I'll make sure we put that up because uh, you offer, I've looked on your site, as I said, and you offer so many, so many wonderful things that can help lives. And you also host events. Uh, yes. Events, and you have your event page. So everybody, please go on to Debbie's site if you're looking for help to change your life. You know, no more with just making New Year's resolutions and not doing something. Debbie is a really good venue for those of you that would like to do something. So don't just say it, do it, especially now. The keeping monitoring our health is so important. And um, now, before we go, Debbie, I would like to ask you, what um, is some advice you would have for someone that's a little uh, intimidated about changing their life? What is the first step that they should really consider? What would you suggest as a professional? What would you suggest? Well, the first thing that, that I run into is a person's readiness level. So if they are not ready to make any, any significant changes, it's really, they, they won't feel successful and they won't be able to complete a program. So being ready is really important. And so what does ready mean? That means you don't want to live like you are anymore. You just don't, you're just tired of it. You want to feel better. You want to have more energy. You want to live longer. You want to live longer, better. You don't want to, yes. right? So, yes. I mean, what's the sense of living long if you're not healthy and you don't feel good? So what do you want for yourself? I mean, I would say that one question, what is it that you really want? I mean, and if you don't want to get any better then yeah. and if just you just keep doing what life, you do. just keep doing what you're doing. But if, the, if you really want it, I mean, it would take really small changes in the beginning. And that's what I usually do with people start small. And I do the ones that are the most unnoticeable the things that people take for granted they don't think they're really big but they are very big and it's working on your sleep oh that is one of my goals my personal goals for this year is to make sure make sure that i get seven to eight minimum a night and because that right there will protect your brain because the brain detoxes at night and it if you are getting less than seven hours of sleep a night you're sleep deprived and there's a and, whole laundry list of and, and it health affects problems from that all the organs and your health your state of everything health. So, so thank you for everybody do you hear that and in these times when i see that on posts all the time i can't sleep i can't sleep and people are up in the middle of the night so they need to contact you you know if you're looking for a good coach that can really help you on your path contact Debbie. Again, we have her website here and the information. And Debbie, thank you so much for being a guest. 
You're I welcome. really appreciate this. Let's touch back again in the middle of the new year and see how we're doing and talk again. I would love that. I would love that. And I would love to have you on my on my program too. Thank you. Yes, I, you let's know do I that. love that. So you let me know when you're ready to have me be a guest on your show. And Absolutely. we'll do it. We'll do Good. it. Okay. Well, everybody, take care of your immune system. There's only one per customer. And contact Debbie if you're really serious about stepping into the new year in better health. It can be done. And Debbie, thank you again. I love you. Stay healthy. And uh, always get into a little bit of good trouble is what I say. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. always have good vibes only. Oh, yes. Good vibes. <laughs> we have to have good vibes. Yeah. Okay, everybody. Thank you so much. Bye, All right. Bye, Bye everybody. Happy New Year. Thank you.